Good afternoon. I'm Chris, the service manager here at Jacobs Custom Living. Today we're going to go through a tutorial on how to light one of our pyramid heaters. So first off, you're going to open the door here. You're going to release the chain. And you're going to pull up just slightly at the bottom to get these cleats to come off. I'm going to set that right here to the side. I got my standard five gallon bottle. I'm going to place it right in here. It does come with this little strap right here. You can use it or not. It's completely up to you. In case you want to move the heater with the tank inside so it doesn't jostle around as much. Next, we're going to take our regulator here. We're going to hook it right up to the front of the bottle and just start turning our, with our hands. You don't want to use any tools on these. As tight as you can get it with your bare hands. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our bottle here. Lighting procedures are pretty simple. The manufacturer's lighting procedures are right here. I'm just going to run you through some simple little tips and tricks. So you're going to hold your igniter first. You're going to depress the knob, bring it in between the pilot and the high. It'll only let you turn it so far. So I need to actually look up here and see if it's lighting. And it's trying to just get rid of the air that's in the line because we just put a new tank on it. So I'm going to bring it back up. See if I can get some of that air to come back out. Our pilot light has lit. You can tell by looking through the glass. There's a little blue flame. Now you want to keep this held in so your thermal coupler can stay warm. And another way to look at it, if you have the door completely off, is you can look straight in and you can see the blue flame. If you can let the knob out and it continues to burn, the thermal coupler has got to the operating temperature. So now you can push the knob in slightly and bring it down just a little bit. And that's how you light a pyramid heater. So we're at the high setting right now. And you can bring it down to a lower ambient flame level. get it pretty, pretty low down there. A lot of people like to burn them on that because it's so pretty. Now I'm going to turn it off here. I'm going to attach the door and show you that you don't have to have the door off just to light it. But this is a super easy way to show the lighting procedure with the door off. Tank here. Got my door. Line up these two cleats at the bottom one at a time. Take my chain here, attach it, and that allows the door to hang by the chain. So normally you would close the door up like so. I'm going to turn the tank slightly. The hose is actually pushing on the door here. There we go. Now I should go. So that's how it'll sit when it's not in use. So when you want to light it, you're going to open it up here, turn your tank on, and now that the system has been primed, it shouldn't take as long to light the pilot light. So you're going to always hit your red button sparker first. You're going to depress in and turn it until it stops. Keep this pressed in. As you can see, the pilot light lit. So you wanna leave it held for around three to five seconds, or just by checking, by letting the knob out. If it continues to burn, it's at operating temperature. You can then take your knob and increase your flame. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off here. 
turn my tank off. Close up the door. And that's a simple how-to on lighting the pyramid here.